So, I've been out and about, uh, you know, doing my shopping, and I've noticed a lot of you are struggling with wearing a mask uh, out of public. So, um, a couple things. I'm going to show you how to wear a mask and make sure that that's okay. Uh, and also, um, you will know that your mask is working if you're uncomfortable. If you feel pretty good and you're not having any trouble breathing and, um, you know, your face doesn't hurt, uh, you're probably not wearing your mask, right? You, you should be relatively miserable when wearing a mask. It's not much fun. Um, that's why I, I don't know what to tell you. Leave it to the professionals. But, yeah, um, if your mask is, is super comfortable, uh, that probably means there's no resistance uh, going through the, the actual filtered material, which means it's probably not doing anything. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, so... Uh, this is a standard surgical mask, you know, it's got the little ear pieces here, it's got the, the thing. So there's there's a right way, there's a, there's a top and a bottom to this. So the top part uh, has a little, usually has a little metal wire bendy thing. Uh, on the inside there might be some, uh, some, foam, some foam padding. Um, but uh, regardless, you take the mask, you put it on your face, so you see how it fits onto the nose here. And then you're going to put the, the ear bits on and then you'll, you'll pull this down over your chin. So you see it covers the whole face, not just this, uh, and as you can see when I breathe in, it kind of sucks to your face a little bit, and that's actually what you want, because that means you've got a good seal, and it means that the, when you're breathing in gross, you know, COVID virus, whatever stuff, it's getting stuck in this mask as opposed to going straight into your mouth. Now, surgical mask, um, not the greatest, uh, the real reason that we, that the public, it's recommended or being required now that you wear a mask is to save other people because uh, what happens is uh, this isn't a great the surgical masks are not great filters but it is pretty good at catching your random spittle and stuff like that flying out of your mouth which could uh, get aerosolized and, and spread the disease so when you're coughing or sneezing or just talking uh, the mask is going to catch all that crap and hold it in and keep other people from getting it now so what, what I see a lot of people doing is, is this number so they, they have the mask down like like this and the, their nose is out uh, and they do that because it's more comfortable, um, but that's that's where stuff gets into your face. So it's got to be up over the nose, guys. And or or this one right here, where it's like right at the nose. So like, what's well, kind of got no, no. It's got to be up over the nose. Then um, I, I particularly like the the, the chin beard um, mask. Like you're you're working for food prep or something like that. Not not working. Um, I haven't actually seen someone like wear it on their head or anything, but uh, most most of the time it just kind of slowly sneaks down over the course of a conversation. Um, I have had seen people like pop the bottom up like this so they can talk, and it's like that again. The whole point of this is it's covering your mouth to keep you from spraying spittle everywhere uh, when you talk, and it's not like big spittle; it's like spittle that you can't see, just the normal uh, kind of everyday stuff. Um, if you're going to wear an N95 mask, uh, the fancy masks. Uh, probably don't probably donate these to hospitals and stuff like that um, unless you've been told by your doctor you need to wear it because you're like immunosuppressed or have a really bad respiratory problem um, the other thing is that a lot of the N95 masks especially if like you're a contractor or something like that they have a valve on it they have a valve on the side or the front and what's happening when you when you use it is the valve is opening up uh, and all the stuff that's inside your lungs is getting sprayed out through that valve it's not getting filtered at all. So it's actually less safe for everyone around you than wearing a surgical mask is. Now, theoretically, you could take like an N95 mask and I put a bandana on or something like that, uh, and that'll kind of that'll kind of trap the crap there. Um, that's probably better off. I mean, you could do an N95 mask and put a surgical mask over it, which probably is going to make it pretty hard to breathe. But, hey, if you get an N95 mask, good on you for having some foresight or stealing it. Um, what else? Oh, yes, when you take your mask off, um, make sure that you, you don't grab the actual mask material like I did earlier. What you want to do is you actually want to grab the, these straps here, pull it away from your face, and pull it off your face. Um, and that way, all the, the crud that's on here um, isn't going to get on your hands, and then you're not going to slam your hands on that. And even, though, even if you take it off right, you should immediately go moist, not moisturize. You should immediately go and use your um, yeah, hand sanitizer or, or better yet wash your hands with soap and water, soap and warm water uh, for more than 20 seconds uh, to get things off. Um, soap and water is the best. I, I, it's super weird and maybe counterintuitive, but it is absolutely true. Um, you're going to be doing a lot better if you soap and water your hands. Um, but if all you got is hand sanitizer, that's fine. You can do that.